Hey guys, so today we have another one week one palette video and this time you guys voted on the Sigma Enchanted palette Which is actually the newest palette to my collection So I was really excited that this was the one you guys chose because I felt like this would be a great way to really develop my thoughts on this palette I uh, Really wasn't so sure how I felt about it after the first couple of times I used it I had some trouble with some of the shades So this week I created a different look every single day and I did film a little tutorial on each one So that is going to be the bulk of this video My goal was just to use each shade at least one time and I did meet that goal. Um, so let's just go ahead and get into these seven looks. Alright so for this first look I'm going to go ahead and start by setting my eyeshadow primer from the crease up with the shade Quartz, just a matte cream color. And I think I want to go kind of pink today so I'm going to start out my crease with the shade Innocent. It's this soft dusty rose matte color. All right, then I'm going to deepen up the outer corner of the shade Claystone. It's this kind of cool toned matte brown. All right, and then I'm going to take on a kind of small crease brush. This is the e.l.f. crease brush, the shade Loam. This is kind of, it's really similar to Claystone. It's just slightly lighter. And I'm going to use that in my crease and to kind of blend out Claystone. I kind of feel like Claystone is blending away. Do you see where there's kind of like a line right there? So I might have to go back and build that up again. Pick up a little bit of Innocent again on my fluffy crease brush and just blend some more of that in. All right, then because I feel like Claystone kind of blended away a little bit, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that just on the spots where I need it to kind of even it out again. Okay, so a lot of people were telling me that the shimmers in this palette really perform best with the glitter glue underneath. So I'm going to take some of my NYX glitter primer and just apply that to my lid where I'm going to be placing my shimmers. Alright, then I'm going to take the shade Plume, which is this sort of magenta pink shade. It's got kind of a gold shift to it. I'm going to pick that up on my finger. I don't think I've used this shade yet. And this I'm going to apply to the center of my lid. Okay, that that is really pretty, really sparkly. And then for the inner third of my lid, I'm going to take the shade Budding, which is a lighter kind of rose gold pink. Again on the finger, I'm just going to tap that on the inner part of my lid. Going back in with my fluffy crease brush and just blending everything out. Loving those sparkly pinks, those are gorgeous. I don't know, I just feel like I need a little more clay stone here, so I'm going to add a little more of that. Alright, taking whatever's left of that shade and smudging it on my lower lash line. For my inner corner, I want to take Moon Glade. It's this really pretty soft, almost iridescent light purple. And that's going to be my inner corner highlight. Taking it up a little bit onto my lid as well and into the crease. I just feel like this clay stone, the deepest matte here, doesn't want to blend. I'm afraid to blend too much because I don't want it to blend away. But you see how it just kind of like stuck where I placed it here? Try taking a little bit more of loam. Okay, that's a little bit better. Final step, taking a little bit more of quartz to highlight my brow bone and clean up the edges. All right, for eyeliner, I'm using my CoverGirl Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Rich Brown on my upper lash line. All right, so mascara is on, and for the lip, I'm gonna do just a soft, rosy nude. I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Glide on Lip Pencil in Manic, and then top it with my Milani Keep It Full Lip Plumping Gloss in Soft Rose. I cannot get enough of this gloss lately. It is so pretty. Was no one gonna tell me that my collar was inside out this entire time? <laughs> All right, so that is the finished look for day one. I do really like how this soft, kind of smoky, rosy look turned out, and I definitely think the next glitter primer brought those shimmers to their full potential. So that is it for day one. Let's go ahead and hop on into day two now. Okay, so for look number two, I'm going to do a halo eye. I've actually done this look once before, and it was one of my favorites that I've done with this palette so far. I'm going to start off the look with the shade Innocent. Again, this is often the shade that I use to kind of just start out my crease. And I'm just using the brush that came with the palette for this. Alright, so next for my inner and outer corners, I'm going to use the shade Loam. 
on this small Real Techniques shader brush. All right, I got some eyeshadow on my under eye because I slipped and the brush touched that area, so that's why, but I will fix that in just a moment. Also taking whatever's left on that brush down to my lower lash line. Next, I'm just going back over to this crease brush and I'm gonna blend out the crease some more. I feel like I tend to get like skipping with these mattes. Like, do you kind of see where there's like a line where it doesn't want to cling? to my crease, it's kind of strange. Taking a little bit more of Innocent to blend the crease out, and then I'm gonna take some more of Loam and try to help with that skipping situation. All right, then I am gonna take some of my NYX Glitter Primer and apply that to just the center of my lid where I'm going to be applying my shimmer. All right, then for the center of the lid, I'm using the shade Budding, which is this rose gold color, and I'm just going to tap that on with my finger. The shimmers in this palette really do shine with a glitter primer. Look at that. That is a very pretty shade. Then I'm just going to blend the edges of that. All right, to deepen up a little bit in the outer corner, I'm going to take some of Claystone, which is basically identical to Loam, just a little bit deeper. Take that just in the outer corner. Again, smoking that out on the lower lash line. All right, finally, I'm taking Quartz and highlighting my brow bone and blurring out the edges. Do you guys see how patchy my outer corner is here? I don't have this problem with most other mattes in my outer corner where there's like almost this blank line. That's happened with Claystone twice now. All right, I'm gonna smudge a little bit of brown pencil liner on my upper lash line. This is the CoverGirl Coal Eyeliner Pencil in Rich Brown. Okay, so mascara is on, and for the lips, I'm gonna go for a nice kind of dusty rose nude to match the eye. I did change sweaters as well, because my other like chartreuse sweater didn't really go <laughs> very well with this eye look. But I'm gonna use my Jordana lip liner in the shade Rockin' Rose. It's a nice neutral, kind of taupey rose color. Then for my lipstick, I'm gonna use the BK Beauty lipstick in the shade Acceptance. This is just a nice kind of light mauve nude. And that is the finished look for day two, this kind of soft, taupey, rose halo eye. Definitely struggled a little bit with those mattes. I'm not sure I'm in love with this look, but I do really like that shimmer shade in the center, I will say that. All right, for this next look, I'm gonna do a very simple, kind of warmer toned fall look. There's really only one like light transition shade in here, and that is Innocent, so I'm gonna go ahead and start out the look with that shade. All right, then I want to deepen up my outer corner with the shade Terra. It's this reddish brown shade here. It's like a deep terracotta. I'm just taking that on my Real Techniques shader brush. Then I wanna take a little bit of Loam, this sort of medium toned taupe shade and apply that to my crease, just to deepen up that crease a little bit. I'm also using that to sort of blend out that reddish brown color. Here it's happening again. I feel like that reddish brown is kind of blending away where I've been adding this loam shade. Oh, dang, you guys, I don't know. I don't know if I like this formula of the mattes. All right, let me build up some of that Terra shade again, because you just have to kind of place them and then not touch them after that. So for my lid shade, I want to use the shade Sunburst. It's this soft champagne -y color, and I'm just going to apply that with my fingers. I'm not using my NYX Glitter Primer today, just because I don't feel like I really need it with this color, since this is more of a pearly shimmer than like a sparkly shimmer like some of the others. Blending out the edges there. Again, I just feel like these mattes are looking kind of messy, messy and patchy. And I don't have that problem with every palette, which makes me think it's not 100% a me problem. All right, I'm gonna take some of Quartz to sort of highlight the brow bone and clean up this edge. All right, I'm gonna take some of the this matte black shade, Wicked, and use that as my kind of winged liner on the top. I don't think I've even used this shade once yet, so. Test this out, see how it works. All right, so with that, I was able to get a nice pigmented 
line. I like that. All right, so mascara is on, and for the lips, I'm thinking a nice vampy berry is going to be really pretty. So I'm going to do a combination of my Jordana lip liner in Plush Plum and my Becca lipstick in Merlot. All right, so now that I've kind of put the finishing touches on, I don't mind this eye look. It's kind of giving me like modern renaissance vibes actually. I feel like you could get a very similar look with modern renaissance. So yeah, that is the look for day three. All right, welcome to I think day four now. Is that right? Yeah. So I want to do a green look today and I'm going to give Cosmos another chance. I did not enjoy the shade the first time I used it, but today I'm going to try it over the NYX glitter primer and hope that that helps. And I also want to use the shade Evergreen, which is a nice deep forest green. So let's just dive on in. I'm going to start by setting my eyeshadow primer from the crease up with quartz. All right, I'm gonna go in with Loam, but I'm gonna mix that with Quartz to kind of lighten it a bit as my crease color. I don't want this to make things look too muddy, but there just aren't a lot of options for like mid-tone crease shades in here, so I'm just gonna hope for the best. All right, next I'm gonna use Evergreen to carve out the outer corner. Going back to this crease brush and blending along the edges, I'm going to try not to overblend because some of these mattes have a tendency to blend away. I'm just kind of going around the edges. So next I'm going to take some of my NYX glitter primer and just apply that to the part of the lid that doesn't have any shadows on it yet. Alright, and now for Cosmos, I'm just going to pick this up on my finger and Tap that onto my lid. Okay, I do feel like it's showing up a little bit more green than it did the first time. First time I used it, I did not use glitter primer underneath. Okay, I actually do want to pick up a little bit of Innocent, this light rosy matte, and just sort of use that as a transition color up above the crease. All right, I'm gonna take the same brush that I used in the outer corner and just taking whatever's left on that to sort of define my lower lash line with that evergreen shade. All right, then I'm gonna take quartz and use that as always to just clean up the edges. And I am also going to pick up a little bit of sunburst and use that as my inner corner highlight. So this might be my favorite look so far. I feel like this is going a little bit better than the last three days. I think I'm just also starting to get used to this formula and how to work with it. I think the key is just not over blending these deep mattes, which is hard because I want everything to look blended, but I think just slowly building them up and only blending out the very edge is the key. And I definitely think that Cosmo shade, the green shimmer is looking much, much better with that glitter primer. So that that's good. Cause the first time I used that shade, it looked so gray. Like it barely even looked like a green. That's actually really nice. Okay, I actually just bought this eyeliner from Urban Decay. This is their 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Overdrive. It's a nice emerald green. I kind of want to use this today on my upper lash line. I think it's going to look really pretty with this look. Okay, that is very pretty. That definitely amped up like the green factor here. All right, for the lips, I'm going to do a combination of these two BK Beauty products. I'm using the lip liner in Sweet Pea and lipstick in kindness. All right, so that is the look for day four. I honestly really do like how this came out. I even like how that kind of rosy taupey crease works with the greens. I feel like it just kind of softens it a little bit, takes the edge off that olive, and yeah, I'm actually really happy with this, especially with that green liner and the peachy pink lip. I really like this look, yay. <laughs> Finally, a look that I am pretty excited about. All right guys, day five. Today I want to use the shade Metamorphosis because we have not used that shade yet this week. And so I think I'm just going to do a very soft, simple, everyday kind of look. This is a very soft shimmer. This is not a glittery shimmer like some of these others. It's a very just subtle, pearlescent, glowy kind of shade. Um, similar to Glass Bowl from ColourPop. I feel like every single look this week I've started out with the shade Innocent, but that's what we're going to do again today. <laughs> 
So I'm going to take a little bit of loam to deepen up the outer corner on this e.l.f. crease brush. It's kind of softly contouring the eye. I'm not going for a super defined look today. And I am working that into my crease as well. Alright, so next I am going to lay down some of my NYX glitter primer on my lid. Because I do want this metamorphosis shade to really show up. Alright, then I'm picking up metamorphosis on my finger and I'm just going to tap this on the lid. It just doesn't have much oomph to it, you know? And it's very hard pressed into the pan, so I'm really trying to pick as much up as I can. And I am really packing this on there, really layering it up to get it to show up. All right, grabbing some of Loam again and gonna use that to define my lower lash line. Last but not least, picking up Quartz and cleaning up the edges there. And for my inner corner highlight, I want to grab Moonglade. That's this soft, like, lilac shimmer. This is a really pretty shade. It's very, like, iridescent. So I know I said I was going to leave this look very, like, simple, but I kind of want to do a cobalt blue eyeliner today. I just think that'll look really pretty with this look. So I'm using my Makeup Revolution eyeliner in Sky Blue. I don't know why, but I feel like that's, like, stinging my skin where I applied it. Not my eyes, but like the skin that it's on. That's a first. That's weird. All right, so mascara is on and for the lip I'm going to do kind of a soft like cool toned nude. I'm going to use my Urban Decay Vice Shine Lipstick in Local. That look turned out a little bit more colorful than I anticipated, but you could totally leave out the blue liner or switch that with a black liner or brown liner, whatever you're feeling if you want something a little bit more subtle. But yeah, I do really like the way this look turned out. I was hoping for a little bit more oomph from that metamorphosis shade, but overall I still think the look came out really pretty. So that is day five. All right, friends, it is day six. And today I wanna to dip into the shade Electrum because that is the only shade I've not used yet this week. So I'm going to start out by as usual, setting from the crease up with quartz. I've already primed my lids. Been using the Urban Decay Primer Potion all week for all the looks in case you were curious. Okay, so for my crease, I want to use Terra. I want this to be kind of a warm toned golden look. So I'm gonna start out by mixing Terra with quartz to lighten it a bit to make it a little bit more of an appropriate transition color for me. I'm just dipping back and forth between those two and buffing that into the crease area. Right, next I'm going to dip into the shade Claystone and build that up in my outer corner. I'm just going to gently blend that out so as not to blend it away. See, it doesn't want to blend. It doesn't want to blend. Yep, this Claystone shade, every time I use it, it just looks patchy. Alright, next I'm applying some of the NYX Glitter Primer to my lids. All right, next I'm gonna grab some of Electrum, this beautiful, like, yellowy gold shade. This shade is really pretty. And it does have kind of a black base, but I don't think I mind that with this type of color. I just think it adds some dimension to it. So, tapping that right over where I applied the NYX primer. That is very pretty. Then I am gonna take a tiny bit of clay stone again, just to kind of even that back out since it did get a bit patchy on me. And then I'm just taking whatever is left of that on my brush down to the lower lash line. I'm going to use my NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Rose Gold for the waterline, mainly because I'm also filming demos for a speed reviews video right now and I need to demo this product for that video. But this is also a very nice brightening lower waterline shade and it actually lasts pretty well. Alright, I also feel like this look totally calls for a black liquid liner so I'm just using my liquid liner from Anastasia. I'm actually also gonna use the same eyeliner as my inner corner highlight today because it's a really pretty brightening shade. For the lips, I think I'm gonna wear this lip combo from BK Beauty. I've been loving these <laughs> lip products from them that they sent over. Um, for my lip liner, I'm gonna use the shade Warm Spice. And then I'm gonna top that with the lipstick in Kindness. All right, well, I think this might be my favorite eye look so far with the Sigma Enchanted palette. That gold shimmer is absolutely delicious. So that is it for look number six. 
All right, we've made it to the last day, day seven, and I've now used all of the shades at least once. So I can pretty much just use whatever I want today. I kind of want to do a look featuring the shade Moonglade today because I've used this as an inner corner highlighter, but I haven't used it as a lid shade yet. And so I want to try it out as a lid shade. So I'm going to start out with none other than Innocent. And I've already set my eyelid primer from the crease up with just my face powder. Of all the shades, this shade is definitely starting to show the most wear because I've just, I've been using it so much. I'm going to take a little bit of loam and use that to define my crease a little bit more. And I'm using my e.l.f. crease brush, which is a somewhat smaller crease brush. And then also building up that shade in the outer corner with my Real Techniques shading brush. All right, so I just went ahead and applied some of the NYX Glitter Primer to that part of my lid. And now I'm going to pick up, you know what? I don't think I've even used the flat side of the Sigma brush yet. I don't know if I'm gonna like it because it doesn't have much taper to it. So I don't really know how much of that shade it's gonna be able to pick up, but let's try it out. This is their medium sweeper. Let's just see what it can do. Oh, I guess it is working. All right, for my inner corner, I'm gonna take some of Sunburst, which is that sort of light champagne color. All right, just taking some of Quartz and using that to clean up the edges. Also taking a little bit of loam down on my lower lash line. Also just kind of adding a little bit more of that shade to my outer corner. Then I'm gonna take some of my CoverGirl Kohl Eyeliner Pencil in Rich Brown as my eyeliner on the upper lash line. All right, for the lip, I'm gonna go with my Project Pan combo. I've got my Urban Decay Lip Pencil in Manic and my Ofra Liquid Lipstick in Laguna Beach. and there is the finished look for day seven very soft I really do like that soft purple shimmer on the lid um, and I felt like it paired really nicely with those mattes that I used so really happy with this look so as you can see I was able to get a really nice variety of looks with the palette and the first couple of days I did kind of struggle with it and there were a couple of looks that I wasn't too thrilled about but as the week went on, I did start to enjoy this palette more and more. I think just as I kind of got used to the formula, because this was my first Sigma palette that I've tried, I just wasn't used to the formula yet. I do still have some minor complaints about the formula, especially with those deeper mattes, as you saw. I just found them kind of patchy and difficult to blend. But I am really happy to say I am enjoying the shimmers in this palette a lot more than I did initially. Now that I've started using them with the NYX Glitter Primer, I definitely think the shimmers kind of need to be used with a glitter primer to really bring out the true color of them because some of them, like Cosmos, just aren't going to show up on your lid true to what you see in the pan without a glitter primer. So if maybe you don't own a glitter primer or you just hate taking that extra step, this might not be the best palette for you. But I did really grow to love this color story and I feel like I was able to get so many different types of looks with just this one palette. So overall, now that the week is over, I still have kind of mixed feelings on this palette. I just don't think it's worth the full $49 price tag, but Sigma does occasionally have sales on their website. In fact, yesterday somebody told me it was on sale for like 30 or 40% off, but I just checked and it's not anymore. So I would say just wait for a sale if you really do wanna try it, but I have to say the Sigma formula is not my favorite. I don't know if I'm gonna be interested in trying any more palettes from Sigma, even though I have created some looks with this palette that I really do enjoy. So, so at the start of this week, my goal was to just make sure that I used each shade at least one time, and I did meet that goal. I'm gonna go ahead and put a graphic on the screen that shows you how many times I dipped into each shade. I think it could just be interesting to see which shades I gravitated to using more often, which shades I mainly only use the one time, just to kind of see how truly useful each shade ended up being. But my most used shade by far was Quartz. Whenever a palette does have a matte cream color like this, I tend to use it pretty much every time I use the palette just as my brow bone highlight shade or as my cleanup shade or to set my eyelid primer for any number of those uses those shades do tend to be useful to me so I use them often my next most used shade was innocent I used that six out of the seven days and that doesn't surprise me at all I do find this type of shade very useful as well even though it's certainly not the most unique I do love a good like soft blush pink colored shade for a transition shade. So those are kind of my final thoughts on the Sigma Enchanted palette after this one week of using it. I'm glad I did this because I definitely think it helped me get to know this palette better. And I really did create some looks that I loved with it. I think I'm gonna be really enjoying this, especially in the springtime. I feel like this palette really does scream spring to me, even though there were a lot of great fall looks 
that I got as well. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I'll also leave my last One Week One palette linked for you. It was the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. I love doing these. I definitely plan to do more of them in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you've not already. And hopefully I'll talk to you again very soon in my next video. Bye.